hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to unbox this ats ats stands for automatic transfer switch guys these are mainly used in generator backup system application for example if you have your main power and it goes the ats sends a signal to the generator the generator turns on and it switched the power over to generator power so guys actually when it comes to the ats it takes about three to seven seconds in that type of application but with this ats that i have which is the dual power it takes less than a second to switch the power over meaning things like your desktop computers are not going to shut off they are not going to be interrupted while using so guys i am going to unbox and also talk more about the features of this ATS and also the setup style. So guys, all other information will be listed in the video description. This is actually the ATS. I will also put the setup guide in the video description. So guys, this is actually the box and it's a dual automatic transfer switch. So when you look, it was actually made in China. We have about 125 amps which is very very good so this is a unit that can also be used in your main power switch and guys you can actually see what's inside the box we have like a manual here which says dual automatic transfer switch it also shows some diagram how you set this up so this is actually the blueprint of everything but this can be confusing as well if you don't know how to read these like let me bring this closer it show you how to wire this up but as i'm saying it can also be a bit confusing so i'll get down to that later on this is actually our main focus and we're going to take this out so this is actually the transfer switch here and what we notice is that this is made out of plastic material and also uh, metal as well with this automatic transfer switch you can see rstn and we have the different connections areas here right and I just want you guys to look at this because this is not a setup tutorial with this. This is just an unboxing and an informative video. If we take a look at this, right, we have the city power, which is source E. This is the main power. And we also have a generator here. So guys, it doesn't really matter, but you can set this up how you desire. In setting this up you can choose to put your city power here and use your generator as a main power and as I am saying guys you can switch from A to B so it will switch like this when it switch it means that you will see the light here when it's on this power source A if source A go out it will immediately switch to source B this means you will always be powered also, there are something I want to bring to your attention. There's actually a switch here in which you can put on manual mode. You can also put this on auto. When you select auto mode, this will work function automatically and you, it will be able to switch automatically and operate. So guys, with the unit, your two power sources will be present. You will have your main power on the system here and you will have your backup power wired here but the wiring you have to wire this in a specific way we also have these control terminals here that needs wiring as well so guys as i'm saying you have the manual here to help and the first time i look at this it was a bit confusing to be honest with you guys Hopefully, I will be setting this up soon so you guys will be seeing a tutorial of the ATS. So guys, I have a more easier diagram here as to how you wire this setup. 
as you can see the L1, the L2, the L3 and also the N you can also see the different connections in where you will wire the common power supplies and all the different diagrams are here this is more simplified to follow than to follow the one that came with it so if you're looking to set this up you can see all the power supplies where they are connected you can also see the different control units there in which so guys you can actually see here where you need to connect the different lines this is more ideal for you to follow so guys i hope that this video was helpful you guys saw what's inside the box you can actually get these from aliexpress they might also be on ebay as well and as i'm saying this is rated at 125 amps which is very good so guys this switch is ideal for your automatic transfer power and this was just a review as you can see that's how it transferred the switch so guys my name is lens and i'll see you in the next one bye bye